Tourism in Russia has seen rapid growth since the late Soviet times, first domestic tourism and then international tourism as well. Rich cultural heritage and great natural variety place Russia among the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Not including Crimea, the country contains 23 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, while many more are on UNESCO's tentative lists. 1. Major tourist routes in Russia include a travel around the Golden Ring of Ancient Cities, cruises on the big rivers including the Volga, and long journeys on the famous Trans-Siberian Railway. Diverse regions and ethnic cultures of Russia offer many different foods and souvenirs, and show a great variety of traditions, including Russian Maslanitsa, Tatar Sabantai, or Siberian shamanist rituals. In 2013, Russia was visited by 33 million tourists, making it the ninth most visited country in the world and the seventh most visited in Europe. 2. Land and climate Central European Russia, e.g. Moscow, St. Petersburg, Nizhny Novgorod, Kazan, etc., is in the same climate zone as the Baltic states, Belarus, and northern Ukraine. The climate of southwest Russia, the lower Volga, and the area between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, is more arid, with hotter summers and shorter winters. The climate of Russia's far east along the Pacific coast is similar to that of Hokkaido, Japan and northeast China. The most severe climate is in Siberia where winters are very cold and summers are very hot, and in Russia's far north where temperatures are always low, with the exception of Murmansk, where the sea never freezes due to the influence of the warm Norwegian current. The climate of Russia's Black Sea coast is subtropical. Contrary to popular belief, the climate of most popular tourist areas of Russia is not severe and is similar to that of Eastern Europe. The mean temperatures of December, January and February in Moscow are minus 4 degrees Celsius, 25 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 7 degrees Celsius, 19 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 6 degrees Celsius, 21 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively, but colder weather is common. Over the past few decades spells of extremely cold weather, below minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, in Central European Russia have become rare. In the winter 2016-2017, Moscow had temperatures below minus 20 degrees Celsius only for three days, while the number of wintry days when the temperature is close to or slightly above the freezing point has grown significantly. In coastal areas wintry temperatures can feel somewhat colder than they actually are due to high humidity. Unless you are allergic to the pollen of certain trees and herbs, such as birch, horse chestnut, alder, lilac, cherry tree, ash tree, rowan tree, lime tree, dandelion, the best time for traveling to Central European Russia is late spring when the temperatures are pleasant and many trees are in bloom, and early and mid-autumn when trees change their color and it is not cold yet. Summer months are also good except for June in cities in Central and South Russia when poplar fluff can be a nuisance but recently the authorities of many Russian cities have taken action against the fluff by cutting and removing poplar trees and the situation has improved dramatically. Late autumn, winter months, and early spring will be enjoyable if you wear appropriate clothes and shoes. If you are interested in winter activities, in Central European Russia it usually begins to snow in late autumn and snowpack usually doesn't melt away completely before early April, although spells of warm weather do occur and snow can temporarily melt away in mid-winter. Ski resorts in mountainous areas have snow throughout the winter season. Central European Russia sometimes experiences cold spells in early May when the temperature can go from plus 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit to the freezing point for a few days. Tourism visa and entry requirements The citizens of CIS member states, most Latin American countries, Israel and South Africa, can travel in Russia for 90 days without a visa. Visitors from South Korea can visit Russia for 60 days without a visa, while tourists from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Cuba, Laos, Macau, Macedonia, Mongolia, Montenegro, Serbia, Seychelles and Thailand, can visit for 30 days without a visa. Free e-visas for visiting three regions in Russia's Far East, Primory, Sakhalin, and Kamchatka are available for tourists from China, Japan, India, Iran, Turkey, Morocco, Mexico, and some other countries. Tourists from other countries are required to visit a Russian diplomatic mission to purchase a visa. Tourists are required to have a valid passport when crossing the Russian border. Russian visas cannot be purchased at the border. For more information see Visa Policy of Russia. Cultural tourism The most popular tourist destinations in Russia are St. Petersburg, which appeared in the list of top visited cities of Europe in 2010 and Moscow, the current and the former capitals of the country and great cultural centers, recognized as world cities. Moscow and St. Petersburg feature such world-renowned museums as Hermitage and Tretiakov Gallery, famous theaters including Bolshoi and Mariinsky, ornate churches such as St. Basil's Cathedral, Cathedral of Christ the Savior, St. Isaac's Cathedral and Church of the Savior on Blood, impressive fortifications such as Moscow Kremlin and Peter and Paul Fortress, beautiful squares such as Red Square and Palace Square, and streets such as Tverskaya and Nevsky Prospect. Rich palaces and parks of extreme beauty are found in the former imperial residences in the suburbs of Moscow, Kolomenskoy, Saritsino, 
and St. Petersburg, Peterhof, Strelna, Oranienbaum, Gatchina, Pavlovsk Palace, Tsarskoy Silo. Moscow contains a great variety of impressive Soviet-era buildings along with modern skyscrapers, while St. Petersburg, nicknamed Venice of the North, boasts its classical architecture, many rivers, channels and bridges. Nizhny Novgorod is the capital of the Volga region. It is considered to be younger brother of Moscow because it has its own Kremlin, the metro, the so-called Nizhny Novgorod Arbat, Bolshaya Pokrovskaya Street, and even a copy of the monument to Minin and Pajarsky, the original of which is in the Russian capital. Nizhny Novgorod is divided into two parts by the Oka River. The upper city is its historical part. Here are the Kremlin, Minin and Pajarsky Square, Bolshaya Pokrovskaya and Rozdostvenskaya Streets, nightclubs, open spaces, a large number of monuments and simply historical places. The lower city is its industrial and commercial part. Here are the fair, the old Sormovo and Kanavino, Gaz and Satskarad, the so-called city in the city, the railway terminal, the airport and many attractions for people who want to see the styles of underground, industrial and grunge. The city is the main starting point for cruises along Volga River. From here begins shipping to Moscow and St. Petersburg. Kazan, the capital of Tatarstan, shows a unique mix of Christian Russian and Muslim Tatar cultures. The city has registered a brand the third capital of Russia, though a number of other major Russian cities compete for this status, including Nizhny Novgorod, Novosibirsk, Yekaterinburg and Samara, all being major cultural centers with rich history and prominent architecture. Veliki Novgorod, Peskov, Dimitrov and the cities of Golden Ring, Vladimir, Yaroslavl, Kostroma and others, have at best preserved the architecture and the spirit of ancient and medieval Rus, and also are among the main tourist destinations. Many old fortifications, typically Kremlins, monasteries and churches are scattered throughout Russia, forming its unique cultural landscape both in big cities and in remote areas. Saka Republic proposes to use former forced labor camps as a tourist attraction. 3. Poles visit places of communist crimes, e.g. of the Katyn Massacre and Solovetsky Islands. 4. 5. Notable museums Russia enjoys a rich cultural heritage and is home to many museums. The most notable include the Tretyakov Gallery, the Kremlin Armory and the State Historical Museum in Moscow, the Hermitage Museum, and the Russian Museum in St. Petersburg, the Kazan Kremlin in Kazan, etc. Russia is also famous for having many museums related to its literary and classical music heritage, such as Yasnaya Polyana associated with Leo Tolstoy, the Mikhailovskoy Museum Reserve associated with Alexander Pushkin, the Dostoevsky Museum, the Tchaikovsky State House Museum, the Rimsky Korsakov Apartment and Museum, the Mikhail Glinka Museum in Moscow, the Sergei Rachmaninoff Estate Museum in Ivanovka, Tombov Region, the Alexander Skriabin Apartment Museum in Moscow. Museums related to Russia's military history and military hardware include the Central Museum of the Great Patriotic War on Poklonaya Hill, the Central Museum of the Armed Forces of Russia in Moscow, the Central Museum of the Russian Air Force in Menino, Moscow Region, the Central Naval Museum in St. Petersburg, the Battle of Stalingrad Museum in Volgograd. Famous museums related to science and technology include the Polytechnic Museum of Moscow, the Memorial Museum of Cosmonautics, the Museum of the Energia Rocket and Space Corporation in Korolyov, Moscow region. Nature tourism in Russia, nature reserves have long history and it has its own word of definition Zapovedniks, Russian. Zapovednik, plural Zapovedniki, more than 100 nature reserves exist in Russia and more than 50 national parks it has a great attraction to tourists. Several of them are among world heritage sites. The most famous national parks and sanctuaries of Russia include the Baikal Nature Reserve, the Altai Nature Reserve, the Lazovsky Nature Reserve, the Kedrovaya Pad Nature Reserve, the Kuronian Spit National Park, the Valdaysky National Park, the Baikal Lina Nature Reserve, the Ilmen Nature Reserve. The Seven Wonders of Russia, the most popular tourist destinations chosen in a national vote in 2008 include Lake Baikal, Valley of Geysers, Manpupuna Rock Formations, and Mount Elbrus. Other areas interesting for tourists include Kamchatka with its volcanoes and geysers, Karelia where many lakes and granite rocks are found, including, Taiva with its wild steppes, Republic of Adygea where Fished Mountain is located, Chechnya Republic where Lake Kazanoyam is located. 6. Health Tourism Numerous spa towns having been established at a hot spring. The most renowned regions are Kamchatka Krai, Altai Krai, Krasnodar Krai, Stavropol Krai, North Caucasus region of Russia. 7. Numerous sites enjoy natural hot spring water during winter and some of Russian cities are called Russian spa town, including Pyatigorsk, Yesantuki, Kislovodsk, Seleznavodsk and Mineralnye Vodi. These towns are jointly known as the Caucasian Mineral Waters. Russia has one of the largest water borders in world and that makes Russia perfect for resort tourism.
The warm subtropical Black Sea coast of Russia is the site for a number of popular seaside resorts such as Sochi and Tuaps, known for their shale beaches and wonderful nature. Winter sport a vast part of Russian territory is in subarctic climate and humid continental climate, and that is why it is cold. In addition, Russia is mountainous in regions like northern Caucasus, Altai Krai and Kamchatka Peninsula. The highest peak in Europe, Mount Elbrus, is in Russia, which makes Russia a perfect place for winter sport. In fact, ski resorts are quite common in Russia and 2014 Winter Olympics is the resemblance of how ski resorts has been developed in Russia. The most famous ski resort in Russia is Sochi and its Krasnaya Polyana. Other most popular ski resorts in Russia are Dombe and Karachay Cherkessia in northern Caucasus. Medical tourism Russia is a destination for medical tourism. A large factor in its continued popularity is the relatively weak ruble post 2014, which saw the industry grow rapidly from some 110,000 clients in 2017. 8. To some 728,000 clients in the first five months of 2020. 9. Stomatology is the most popular, 44% of patients, gynecology and urology follow, 25% taken together. The other popular services are plastic surgery, 10%, ophthalmology, 10%, and cardiology, 5%, 8. Most clients come from the cis states, where receiving high-tech medical assistance can be problematic, particularly from Central Asia, which amounts for 62% of all patients but also from Eastern Europe, 32%, South and East Asia, 5%, 10 In addition to price and accessibility of complex manipulations, the difference in regulations between Russia and the client's own nations is a driving factor for receiving care in Russia. For instance, in vitro fertilization is illegal in China, but legal in Russia. 9. Religious tourism Religious tourism has two main subtypes. Pilgrimage, as travel done for religious or spiritual purposes, and the viewing of religious monuments and artifacts, as a kind of sightseeing. The former is relatively insignificant for the Russian tourism industry, amounting for approximately 100,000 pilgrims yearly. 11. The latter is much more important. Places of worship gracing the tourist centers of most Russian cities, or specifically visited even by secular tourists in their remote locations for their architectural splendor. Orthodox Christianity being by far the most common religion in Russia, it also accounts for most religious monuments across the country. Churches being so common a site in Russia as to earn it a moniker, the Golden Domed. Multiple Orthodox Christian churches and cathedrals are part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site list. Major national holidays and celebrations Novi God, New Year's Eve, the 31st of December Orthodox Christmas, the 7th of January Maslanitsa, in February or March, in the week before the Lent, according to the Julian calendar, Easter, in spring after the Lent, according to the Julian calendar, Victory Day, the 9th of May Day of Slavic Alphabet and Culture, the 24th of May Russia Day, the 12th of June Kupala Night the 7th of July day of Christianization of Kievan Rus, the 28th of July Navy Day, Russia, the last Sunday of July. Major celebrations include naval parades in St. Petersburg and Vladivostok, Unity Day, Russia, the 4th of November Defender of the Fatherland Day, the 23rd of February major events Honey Fair in Kolomenskoy, February to March, an annual Honey Festival in Kolomenskoy, Moscow KHL Conference Finals and the Gagarin Cup, March and April, final series of the Continental Hockey League Kinotaver, June, an international film festival in Sochi Scarlet Sales Festival, on a Saturday in the second half of June, annual celebration in St. Petersburg marking the end of school year international Tchaikovsky competition, the 10th to the 30th of June, an annual international competition in Moscow, final gala concerts the 2nd to the 3rd of July in Moscow and St. Petersburg Russian Super Cup, July Mox, Air Show, July, an annual international aerospace show in Zhukovsky, Moscow Region Silkway Rally, July Battle on the Neva, July, an international history festival in St. Petersburg featuring historical medieval battles, HMB, Gum Gorky Classic Motor Rally, 12, July, an annual motor rally and car parade featuring classic cars in Moscow Sabantui, on a Sunday in summer, a major holiday celebrated primarily in Tatarstan and Bashkortostan Spaskaya Tower Military Music Festival in Tattoo, the last week of August, the first week of September, an annual international military music festival in Red Square, Moscow Eid al fitr first day of the month of Shawwal in the Islamic calendar, in order to mark the end of the holy month of Ramadan Eid al-Adha, tenth day of the last month of Dhul Hijjah in the Islamic calendar, locally known as Kirban Bayram, celebrated primarily in Tatarstan, Bashkortostan, North Caucasus and by Muslim communities in major cities Cherishnevi Les Festival, summer, an international annual open arts festival in Moscow Ono v Yevropu, the 6th to the 12th of August, an annual Russian film festival in Vyborg, Leningrad Region Moscow International Film Festival, an international biennial film festival in Moscow City Day in Moscow, first Saturday of September, 
an annual celebration marking the birthday of Moscow Borodino Day, first Sunday of September, an annual event in memory of the Battle of Borodino, includes historical reenactment, in Borodino, Moscow Region Moscow Fashion Week, the 24th to the 29th of October, an annual fashion event in Moscow the Moscow Biennale, dates vary, a biennial contemporary art festival that started in 2003 souvenirs and food typical souvenirs include the Matryoshka doll and other handicraft, samovars for water heating, Ushanka and Papaha warm hats, and fur clothes among other items. Russian vodka and caviar are among the food that attracts foreigners, along with honey, blini, pelmeni, shi soup and other products and dishes of Russian cuisine. Regions and localities associated with specific souvenirs and products caviar. Primory territory. Sakhalin. Kamchatka honey. Bashkortostan. Altai territory. Krasnodar territory Pryaniki. Tula. Arkhangelsk, Vyazma. Smolensk region. Pokrov, Vladimir Region, Gorodets, Nizhny Novgorod Region Chocolate, Moscow, Pokrov, Vladimir Region Amber, Kaliningrad Diamonds, Yakutska Glass Souvenirs, St. Petersburg, Moscow, Gus Krustelny, Vladimir Region Gems, Nizhny Tagil, Yekaterinburg Baresta, Birch Bark, Souvenirs, Arkhangels, Semyonov, Nizhny Novgorod Region Metalwork, Tula, Jostovo, Ivanovo Region Wooden Souvenirs and Pottery, Gorodets, Nizhny Novgorod region. Pollock, Ivanovo region. Jul, Moscow region. Dimkovo district of Kirov. Filimonovo, Tula region. Semyonov, Nizhny Novgorod region textiles. Ivanovo, Yaroslavl wool products. Moscow, Pavlovsky Passad, Moscow region. Orenburg lace. Vologda, Yelets, Lepetsk region Valenki and felt products. Yaroslavl, Yelets, Lepetsk region. Ivanovo furs. Pyatigorsk. Kazan, Yulanovska, Tver wristwatches and clocks, Moscow, Chelyabinsk Transport Railways Subsan train the state-owned company Russian Railways, abbreviated as Erzd, operates most of rail services across the country and is crucial for the rail transport in Russia. High-speed rail services are available between Moscow and St. Petersburg, between Moscow and Nizhny Novgorod, and between St. Petersburg and Helsinki, Finland. European Russia and the Russian Far East are connected by rail via the Trans-Siberian Railway. A train trip from Moscow to Vladivostok takes six days. 14. Russia uses the 1,524 mm 5 feet, track gauge, which is also shared by all the former Soviet republics, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, and is practically identical with the rail gauge of Finland. Trains crossing the border between Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, and EU member states except the Baltic states and Finland, or between Russia and China, stop at special crossing points where each carriage is lifted for its bogies to be changed. Trains remain at crossing points for up to two hours. 15. Sea and River Transport Russia's major seaports category. Port cities and towns in Russia include St. Petersburg and Kaliningrad on the Baltic coast. Murmansk and Arkhangelsk on the Arctic coast. Vladivostok, Yuzno Sokolinsk, and Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky on the Pacific coast. Sochi, Novorossiysk, and Sevastopol on the Black Sea coast. Astrakhan on the Caspian coast. In European Russia, many river boat companies offer journeys to cities and towns on the Volga River, its tributaries and connected canals. Moscow. Via the Moscow Canal. Yaroslavl. Kostroma. Nizhny Novgorod. Kazan. Saratov. Volgograd. Astrakhan. River boats from St. Petersburg can travel to Staraya Ladoga and Veliki Novgorod on the Volkov River, to Ladoga Lake, and to Moscow, via canals. 16. Air Transport Russia's busiest international airports are situated near Moscow, St. Petersburg, Volgograd, Kazan, Krasnodar, Sochi, and Vladivostok. For more information see a list of airports in Russia. Moscow and St. Petersburg are served by direct flights from most European capitals, and Moscow also has direct flights from many cities in East Asia, South Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and North America. 17. Countries that have no direct flights to Russia include Australia, 18, Canada, 19, and Ukraine, 20. Roads Major national thoroughfares are known as federal highways. For more information see Russian federal highways. Most of highways are toll-free. However recently there have opened a few toll roads. 21. Usual roads in smaller Russian cities and in the countryside can be in bad condition. 22. During the cold season, from November till April, when there is permanent snowpack and ice on the roads, winter tires are mandatory. 23. Public transport in major cities Russian cities that have a metro include Moscow, St. Petersburg, Nizhny Novgorod, Novosibirsk, Samara, Yekaterinburg, Kazan. 24. 
Entrances to metro stations are marked using the letter M which looks the same in the Russian and Roman alphabets. On the Moscow metro, announcements on trains are made in Russian and English, and direction signs and maps often include English. 25. Apart from buses and trams, trolleybuses are a very common means of overground transport in Russian cities. For more information see the list of trolleybus systems in Russia. Another widely used means of public transport is marshrutkas, or shared taxis. If you are going to visit Moscow and use public transport, see the article about the Troika card. A similar card known as Podorozhnik is used in St. Petersburg. Taxi services available in major Russian cities include Yandex, Uber, operated by Yandex, Taxi, and Get. Safety natural disasters Natural hazards of Central European Russia include hurricanes, thunderstorms, and spring floods when snowpack accumulated during the winter melts away. South Russia sometimes experiences flash floods. Earthquakes do not occur in Russia except for mountainous areas in the south, the Caucasus Mountains, the Altai Mountains, and the Pacific Coast. Forest fires can occur in hot summers, especially in South Siberia. Dangerous animals Big wild animals such as bears and wolves are common in wooded areas of Siberia and Russia's Far East. They also inhabit some remote thick forests in Northeast European Russia. Female bears can be especially dangerous when they have cubs, while male bears are especially dangerous if they wake up and roam in wintertime. Wolves are dangerous in the winter period. The only poisonous snake in Central European Russia is the viper. It mainly inhabits boggy and marshy forests but can occasionally be met in other types of forests, so high boots are advisable for forest trips and hikes. Tick-borne encephalitis is another hazard that is associated with forests and parks in Russia. Animals that are most prone to rabies are stray dogs and cats, wild foxes, wolves, hedgehogs, raccoon dogs. Environmental contamination A certain level of radioactive contamination, corresponding to that of central Austria and central Sweden, caused by rains following the Chernobyl disaster is found in some parts of Bryansk region and Tula region. High levels of industrial contamination are found in the city of Norilska and in Chelyabinsk region and Sverdlovsk region. Socio-cultural concerns Public safety Most Russian cities are safe to visit. According to travel advice by the UK government, most visits to Russia are trouble-free, but petty crime does happen. 26. Militant groups Most regions of Russia are safe, however travels to some areas in North Caucasus can pose a certain risk, especially parts of Chechnya and Dagestan.